Hi everybody. So, in the previous video, we just installed our ESXi server. And now we're going to log in uh, through the web interface, enable SSH, and just poke around a little bit. Uh, so let's get right to it. So I'm going to open up our web browser. Uh, we're going to go to the IP address we configured in the previous city, uh, video. Uh, it's going to give you a certificate of authority is invalid, so we'll just continue anyway because, well, we know what it is. Login in root is root and enter our password. And here we are. Okay, first thing, it asks you if you would like to join the customer experience improvement program i rather not uh, and uh, i'm gonna uncheck that and click ok so what do we have here we have the information about uh, our system of course it's mm, gigabyte technologies X570 ROS Ultra, which I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly, but it's this motherboard that we have installed in some previous videos that I made. I really like this board a lot, and I hope that uh, it is uh, not going to give me pink screens of death like the motherboard that it's replacing. <laughs> So, well, time will tell, and I'll make an updated video in regards to the stability of this system. So, what do we have? Um, well, yes, XI. What do we want to do? Oh, this is great. Let's see. Manage. Services. What do we have here? Services and we are we got our services here. Security and users. Block that one. Address. Evaluation license. Uh, we're gonna play with this later. Let's see if PCI pass through works on this. Oh, this I'm so excited. This is great. So. Uh, where were we? Um, oh, this is the plan. We're going to enable SSH. We're going to install updates. Uh, we are going to make an, uh, make a DNS server because we want DNS. And we are going to install vCenter. Mm. Those are the future videos so let's get started ah uh, where are we and we got this this and uh, i think it's somewhere around here our start services not here security system Not an auto start, not in hardware. Hmm, let's see if this is TCP firewall rules. Let's see this. So we're networking firewall rules and we have uh, SSH server. And uh, edit settings, allow connections from all TCP addresses. In a um, production environment, we would want to limit that, but this is a lab, so this is okay. 
Oh, what else do we need? We want TCP virtual switches. Let's see what we have with uh, that's a fine. VM kernel adapters. I'll explain all of these in later videos. Our physical uh, adapters, our virtual, our default virtual switch, management network. Heavy motion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. SSH right there. It's TSM SSH. I was looking at this column. SSH. So we want to do this. We want to start and we want this thing to uh, policy start and stop with hope. So we'll always have SSH running because, well, why not? This is a lab. Uh, we have no restrictions. We want convenient SSH access at any time. So now we can connect to SSH. Why is this thing flickering at me? Okay, I think this virtual machine that I'm using for demo purposes needs a little bit more RAM. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Hmm. Whatever. So, CMD. And SSH. Root at 10.192.172.50. That's our box. Would we like to accept this fingerprint? Yes, we would. Password. Put in your root password. And this is it. We have access. So, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope uh, it has been useful to you, and I'll see you in the next video.